All right, here we go. Lesson 2.6, dividing using two-digit divisors. So there's my problem, 612 divided by 52. And the first thing I want to do is I want to say, well, I need to do an estimate. So I'm going to change my divisor to 50 because 50 is pretty close to 52. So I could do a low and a high estimate if I want, but I'm just going to make this kind of easy. And I'm going to say, well, let's make it 600. So I say to myself, well, I can cancel a zero out of each of those. And I got 60 divided by 5, which we know is 12. Six, 60 divided by 5 is 12. 5 times 12 is 60. So I know my answer should be around 12. So that means my answer has to start in the tens column. Okay, so I am going to do this using the standard algorithm. I'm gonna do it this the regular way. So first thing I look at is I say, well, can six be divided by 52? Or as I tell the kids, can a size 52 shoe go into a size six? Well, we know that's impossible. So I gotta look at the second digit. Can 61 be divided by 52? Yes, it can. And I know it can be 52 times one. I can do that one time. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 52 from here. Don't forget to borrow or regroup. And I got 92 because I have to bring down that too. All right, so I'm halfway there. Now, I don't know my times tables up to 52, so I got to do some guessing. Well, I know that my estimate said 12, and I'm almost there. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say, well, what's 52 times 2? And I'm gonna say, okay, well, two times two is four. Five times two is 10. Well, that's too much. I need 92. So I know that my only answer is one. I have to then subtract, because 52 times one is 52. So I'm gonna take 52 away from 92. Nine minus five is four. As long as my remainder, I have nothing else to bring down. So as long as my remainder is less than my divisor, I'm okay. So my answer is 11 remainder 40. Now, I wanna check to make sure that that's the actual answer. So what we do is we're gonna take our quotient, our answer of 11, and we're gonna multiply it by our divisor. So I'm gonna take 11 times 52. Two times one is two. 2 times 1 is 2. Don't forget to put in my placeholder because now I'm doing the 10s. 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 5 is 5. Add these up. And I got 572. Well, I need to now add in my remainder. 2 plus 0 is 2. 7 plus 4 is 11. 5 plus 1 is 6. 612 is my answer. And hey, what do you know? That is my original problem. 612 divided by 52. Or 52 times 11 plus 40 gives me 612. So there you have it. Pretty easy, straightforward lesson. If you have any questions, see me tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.